Hey. Your dad and I fell asleep listening to this sound every night when we were kids. It's got a good beat. Okay. <laughs> Something rhythmic that was around when dad and uncle Aaron were little. Yeah, that's it. You probably don't know this, but your dad and I grew up not far from here, before we moved to Brooklyn in high school. Hearing the clatter of the wheels, the squealing when the trains turn or stop, always makes me think of me and your dad's late night talks. Mostly about what we wanted to be when we grew up. I wanted to be a space alien. Your dad's dream changed. Doctor, firefighter, social worker. <laughs> but he me. always wanted to help me. Yeah. Sounds like that. Mm. Also Christmas tree. Your mom lived here right after college. You know that? She and your dad were dating. Three of us spent a lot of time here. Mm. We got used to this soft, steady beat. Soft beat. There we go. Oh, sweet. Yeah. That one was easy. What a good beat. Things were good back then. Felt like they'd be good forever. Your mom got her first gig as a teacher. Your dad was new to being a cop. And I just started calling myself a cop. Well. I figured we all kept secrets about our jobs. But lastly, your dad's job and mine crossed paths too often. Man, Uncle Aaron, if you would have been anything else, my mom and dad would have supported you all the way. Ain't no shame in that. This one was all your dad's idea. You need something that's always in this park. Quiet on their own. Loud in a group. Loud in a group? Uh... Hmm. Dad, record this. Was he a pigeon whisperer? This was way back, before high school. We were hanging in the park one day, and someone dropped a hot dog. You know how that goes. The place was swarming with pigeons. The dad stopped cold. He said, Aaron, man, that's music. Listen. Next day, we were crawling all over Manhattan looking for bits. Like you are now. I remember the first time they showed me how to sample. Uncle Aaron had the gear, and Dad had the ear for music. This is a good one. Me and your dad used to hang around here. Listen while the whole station came alive. That's what you need. Something at the station. Fire station. I think hanging around here is how your dad got the idea to be a cop. I said, man, you're not uptight enough for that job. You wanted to make things better from the inside. Pretty sure he died trying. You did make things better, Dad. And so will I. Times Square. Easy to find someone in the crowd here. Or lose it. Sound you need is like an electric current. A current? Oh, that's cool. Well, how alive that feels. After I started calling myself the problem, met my first client right under this sign. My flag's hard to miss. And the crowd makes it easy to blend in. She wanted me to steal a painting. I looked across the square and saw your dad looking back. Never said anything. Just turned and left. He didn't know everything. Just that I was a thief. That was enough. I think he saw where you were headed long before I did. He would have tried to act right sooner. He would have forgiven you. I know he would have. This sound always feels like someone celebrating, even when it's just telling time. Your dad thought so too, so he had to include it. 
A sound that tells time. Okay. That's it. Ringing on the hour. When I hear those bells, I remember the last time I was here. Your dad had just graduated from the police academy. I didn't go to the ceremony, so I met him here after. Bought us milkshakes. Strawberry for him, peanut butter for me. I don't know why I remember that. He said he couldn't cover for me anymore if I got in trouble. I told him I was done with that life. I was lying. He didn't believe me for a while. But he's pretended to. Man, things are complicated between them. This plaza and the blocks around it are alive with sound. What you're looking for is light, distinct. Light, huh? Okay. Yeah, wind chimes. That sounds good. This plaza is where I had my first job. I was fresh out of high school. Then. Didn't have the gear or the mask. Guy paid me to mug his boss. Rough him up, take everything in his walk. Your dad found out. He stood under those wind chimes yelling at me for an hour. He never told our folks. He made me promise I'd stop stealing. Wish I kept my word. You deserve better. I wish you had too. Maybe you and Dad would have stayed close. And you and I would be okay too. Have fun with this one. I had a repeat client I always met here. Got real used to waiting, listening, hearing this sound running on a tight schedule. A sound on a schedule? I were Uncle Aaron sitting and listening. Fairy horns! That's right! The client I met here used to take the ferry over from Jersey. He's how your dad found out about the problem. Not that it was me, but that a thief was making it big in New York and your dad volunteered for the case. I could feel him closing in. I had to try and guess which would be worse. I told him, but he caught me. That'd have been me. I... I don't know what I'd do. That can't be the only reason Dad cut him off. Not if he fessed up. It just wasn't Dad. Hey, young blood. You got almost everything you need for the trap. You just unlock the spot where you can find the last piece. Hope it works for you. I don't know. After everything with Krieger, it's fine. I'll keep my guard up. In subway tunnels. Guess a good thief needs a good hideout. <laughs> Whoa! I'm kind of jealous of his lair. A lab. The basement thing. Always making upgrades. I definitely got my suit patching skills from Uncle Aaron. Maybe I should take a few swings. Nah, I'd probably break it. Use the sounds. Frequency lock? <laughs> Something new every day. Hey, kid. Hope the suit fits. You asked why me and your dad stopped talking. He was investigating the Prowler. It led him to my clients, people like Simon Krieger, Wilson Fisk. Your dad couldn't afford to make enemies like that, not with you and Rio in the picture. So I told him. Hoped he'd back off, and he did. For good. He didn't want me around. Didn't want you to turn out like me. Hope this suit helps you be better. Take care, Spider-Man. Thank you, Uncle Aaron. For everything. 
Uncle Aaron's got tabs all over the city. He must have been building his network for years. My mom bought him this at a flea market. It was a joke about... Uh, can't remember. Sequencer? Sampler? Vintage? Oh, has to be him and Dad's equipment. He was always way better at guitar than me. He used to come to our place for dinner all the time. Guess he never learned to cook. <laughs> 